Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Enceladus Radio. Welcome to Off the Grid. I'm your host, Chris Johnson. So many topics, so many issues, so many things going on right now. Where do we begin? Okay, so the subject today, what I want to get into, there's a lot of talk about this alien invasion. Um, You've got the chemtrails. Uh, I think it was yesterday, there was a a meteor that hit the moon. You got Project Bluebeam. So let's kind of dig into this and, and see if we can make some sense out of it. Now, for me, I do believe that there's other life out there. I could be wrong, but that's just my own personal opinion. But what I don't believe is... You've got sightings and so forth. Okay, I understand that. But if these particular extraterrestrials, aliens, extraterrestrials, can visit our planet or live in Antarctica or what have you, don't you find it amazing how they can come light years away in some cases, cut cows open, pick people up from the sky, do all these weird things incognito. Now, something tells me something's not quite right there. Something, Something's not right. If they had all this technology, then what would they be afraid of? Oh, yeah, well, okay, I see. Okay, well, you know, uh, people in general um, are horrible. You know, they kill, they steal. Okay. I think there's a little bit more here that we're not following. Now, could it be that what we think are aliens or extraterrestrials, could it be that they are demonic beings, that that they are part of this big picture that's happening in this world? Is there a possibility that those could be the remnants of the fallen angels. I mean, just think about that for a minute. You see, we do have free will. A lot of us, we have free will. When I say a lot of us, I'm saying in general, you have choices, you have free will. You know, Christians, you have free will. You can either accept the fact or believe that God Jesus is the Son of God, that He came down, He died for our sins, and we have to ask Him to come into our heart. Yeah, you're going to sin. You, We were born sinners. That's just the way it is. I mean, there's no getting around it. But what I'm saying is, countless stories, countless individuals, when you get multiple people and they're going over these same case scenarios, these same case stories, let me say this one day I'm going to share a story with you what happened to me but we'll save that for another day but what I'm saying is there's countless stories where individuals were sleeping driving their car and all of a sudden this bright object appears their car shuts off their instruments go crazy power outages if you're at the house or what have you and then there's this missing time that either they were abducted or something happened Uh, high traces of radiation in some cases that was left on the ground with some of these objects or what have you but what I find amazing is how can they continue to stay under the radar Okay, how is this even possible? How is this even possible? Are we being played with? Are we being conditioned for what's to come? I truly believe that there is a battle. There is a battle here on earth. There is a battle. There is a battle, battle, a battle between good and evil. Okay, there's no getting around it. There is a battle here on earth. I mean, you could see it. You you can see it in your everyday life. 
individuals. Could it be from the chemtrails that they're spraying? Possibility. But there is something happening. So let's get back into this real quick. Let me, let me regroup and focus here. So these extraterrestrials, they come from other places, other dimensions. They pop in. They abduct people, animals, and then they put them back or they leave the cows and then you see surgically removed. We've all seen these videos where things have been surgically removed, tongues, livers, organs. I mean, what the hell is going on? What, what is this about? And then you've got countless individuals that say that they've been abducted and they even have fragments, foreign fragments that were put into their bodies. So one has to ask the question, what is the big picture here? What, if anything, are they trying to do? Is this our own government, psyops, to fool the masses? Or is this truly demonic? Is this Satan's army coming back and disguising himself as extraterrestrials to try to take this world once and for all. When I look at the big picture and uh, you got people being taken against their wheels, you have multiple accounts of some of the same events that are happening. Yeah, you have to you have to kind of pay attention to it. You have to. You can't just sweep it over the rug and assume that everybody's crazy. I don't I don't think that's the case at all I think there is something happening but I think what's happening is not exactly what we think because there's this misconception that they're here to help whatever these entities are that they're here to help us that they're here for our technology that they want to bring us up into the next realm but could this be the game could this be the big picture? Could this be the big deception? I'm going to say I believe it is. I truly believe it is because you cannot convince me that an extraterrestrial will come from light years away, abduct somebody, put them back, and then go on about your business. Multiple people multiple animals not drop in hey how you doing we're from here we've got this no 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 none of that and then you have CERN and all these different forces at work as if they are truly trying to wake up something they are trying to wake up something are they trying to open up the bottomless pit once and for all? I mean, you got to admit, this isn't conspiracy theory anymore. The Illuminati, they're real. The sick worshiping that they do, it's real. The individuals in high power that are a part of these groups and secret societies, it's real. There is a battle. There is a battle going on, and the battle is for your soul it's for your soul there's something happening and it makes you wonder why are they spraying in the air what are they spraying in the air is it to keep us out or to bring them in there's something there is something at work here that you really need to pay attention to to see it don't dismiss it Pay attention to it because one day when this event happened, and it's going to happen, in my opinion, soon, you'll either be caught off guard or you'll truly be convinced that there's something else happening. Even the Vatican's involved in this. Even the Vatican. This is bigger than anything you can ever imagine. And please understand something. This is just my opinion. And as always, I welcome yours. 
but we all want to believe that there's this special race of people that are out there that are coming to help humanity. We all want to believe that. I mean, my goodness, look at the moon at night. Where's that light coming from on the moon? Is the moon, the light that emulates from that moon, does that do something to us? Does that keep us trapped so that some people can see and some people can't? The willpower that you have to stand up and say, you know, even, even if it's controversial, but to be able to stand on your beliefs and follow what the truth is. Hey, I'll tell you, it's hard to do. It truly is. You can't follow the trends. You got to be a trendsetter. Sometimes you got to go against the grain, especially if it's not right. So please do your research, investigate, and ask yourself this question. If those extraterrestrials were that friendly, eager to help, then why in the world are they abducting individuals? What's the big picture here? What are they doing? Why are they implanting things in people? What's going on here? They're doing things against a person's will. Abduction, kidnapping. It's crazy. So there's something at play here. And I don't follow everyone on this particular subject. But it's the ones that stick out that make me nervous. That tell us whatever's happening, they're friendly. They're here to help. I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that at all. There's something at play here, and I'm telling you, you have to really wake up to see it. There's something going on. Our government's probably a part of it. Back in the day, Hitler was involved in this stuff. There's so much that we're not being told. I mean, imagine what we thought was history was no more than a brainwashing game. And that's typically what happens. So my question to you is, if you believe in UFOs, if you don't believe in UFOs, either way, you got to admit there's something happening. There's something going on. The chemtrails, the spraying, these elusive dreams that people are having, this feeling that something, it's not just me. There's this overwhelming feeling that something is getting ready to happen. Something is getting ready to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Enceladus Radio. Off the grid. I'm your host, Chris Johnson. There's plenty more. <laughs> 